Mystery Boxing. He's got Chris Kwiatkowski and Jason Stroud in his corner. It's really nice to see two guys coming out in their second bouts. One with a loss, one with a win. But you know, now see how they're gonna perform their second fight. They got the first fight jitters out of the way. Right. They're used to this now. Let's see what they've got. It still could be a little bit of an adrenal dump. We'll see, but touching gloves right off the get-go. Oh, oh yeah. Zev comes Zev being aggressive. Really being right aggressive. Away. Elijah's got a lower stance. Looks like he's going to try and use that boxing to get yep. some of those kicks. Nice push kick. Nice. They both seem to have a little bit of difficulty finding range. Both are aggressive, so we've kind of got clashing of bulls in the center yeah. here. We have given him a little bit of a warning. Two very different styles. Elijah really relying on that right oh. hand. He may have a right knockdown. Hand. Yeah, is that a slash? Flash, flash knockdown. Ref sending him to the corner. Well, they're ruling that a slip. And a slip. Yeah, Elijah's really swinging for the fence with that right hand. Let's see if Zeb can settle down, get that distance, start seeing that cross. It's like you said, there's a definite difference in styles where Zev's coming out with a lot more of a traditional Muay Thai style. And uh, Punzon's coming out definitely more of a crouch, more of a boxing, seems like a little more of an MMA training style that he's used to. Agreed. Zev's got to keep his head up. Elijah's really throwing bombs. Zev can't get caught looking at the toes. Zev starting to get his feet back under him, yep. putting combinations together. Yep. Elijah's still winging away with that boxing. It's always see, fun to see a clash of styles. It's what makes fights. Yes, it does. Nice low kick and a good catch oh. with it. Good catch, a little long on the hold there. Ref giving him notice on it. You got one second to hold and make a move or you have to release it. He's on really firing that right side hook hard. Well, Zev may have caught him pretty good with that kick. Elijah took a step back pretty hard there. Back looks like Zev, you can see, he looks like he's trying to get the clinch because, you know, he does have a more traditional tie game going here. But let's see if they can put it together going right back to back the low to that kick. low kick. That's going to add up later. It's really oh, hard to throw that right hand when your left leg's shot. Oh, absolutely. Good inside low kick from Pinzone. Oh, oh Pinzone going, going for reverse spinning. That could be a dangerous technique. Yep. yep. Good Leaves a lot open for interpretation. Absolutely. Oh, Big back. right hook. Again. Zeb firing right back. Neither fighter wants to give in to the other at this point. Let's see who has the gas to go three rounds yep. at this pace. Yep. I'd like to see Zev set that kick up a little a bit. A little more bit better, yeah. Coming in. He's keeping his hands up better this time. Looking to find the timing on it. And he's starting to think too much about what Puzon's going to throw. And that can definitely, once you start second guessing yourself, you have to start implementing your own game. Absolutely. You can't worry about what your opponent's going to do. Well, that might have been a low blow there. Uh, yeah, that shot looked like it hit center. That's one of the harder things when you're a leg kicker and you're going against someone that's crouching into their boxing. A lot of times they're going to dip into that hook and, you know, it's an unintentional it, it, low not kick. Unintentional, but yeah, especially on that left side cut kick. Absolutely. Ref giving him time. How much time do they give an amateur? Usually, they'll usually give them the maximum of like five minutes. Um, I think the re I think the ref is having him readjust his cup. And the audience being typical New York vulgar. <laughs> there we go, back to action. Let's see if that rest energized anybody. Nice counter left hook there. Both fighters yeah, timing each other well with their strengths. Yeah. Good body kick. And Zev's apprehension is throwing his timing off just a bit. Absolutely, just those hesitations. He's yep. not hitting as clean as he was earlier. 
Sometimes you just gotta bite down on that mouth and yep. throw. He's fine when he finds that right kick, it's on there. Strout telling him to push in. I gotta agree with him on that. Yep. Hood Jones fighting going backwards now. That's never a good thing. Hard to generate power. That's absolutely what like what you said. If he would put that low kick in behind a couple of punches and set it up with combinations, but then that's I mean it's also what young how young fight, fighters uh, go about it. Absolutely. You see a lot of times these guys are learning on, on the job here. Yep. Experience is truly the best teacher in this sport. You can spar in the gym all day long, well, but it's only under these lights yep. in front of these people that you're gonna put it together. Effective use of that, that jab there. Yep. Zev's connecting really quick Zev's now. Zev's really starting to find his timing and find his game. Yeah, something switched in his brain, it yep. looks like. He, he, he's, he's saying, come on, I'm taking control of this. No better time to do it than this round. This looks like to be the deciding I round. I'm not sure what Jason said to him, but it seems to be effective. Actually, at the end of the round, I'm not sure what, uh, what uh, Punzone may have said to him or done to him, because he, he's coming out with a fire. Yeah. Quinzone's boxing is not finding the distance anymore. Nope. Zeb got lighter on his feet all of a yep, sudden. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's not he's not walking in as much anymore. Oh, he just brushed that right hand off. It's amazing how a change of attitude can allow you to take punches Absolutely. differently. Absolutely. And really swinging nice for the fences counter. with that right hook. Yeah, Zeb's hanging in there and moving with the punches now. Instead of taking them, he's actually sliding with it, yep. countering with the legs better. But Punzone's still one punch away from ending this. He's throwing Absolutely. Hard. I think the damage to his legs is adding up, though. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely right on that. Because now Zev's boxing's even starting to score yep. better because Punzone's just not, he he's just not as mobile anymore. His mouth's open. He's getting tired. Yep. His legs get hurt. Nice high kick. That's where they're going to start dumping it all in right here. Yeah. Good job by both fighters. Both of them fought. Straight through all three rounds really all hard. All right. Wash it. Wow. Well, Hate each other for three rounds and hug it out. Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, after three That's rounds of action, we have you a winner. You, you got about eight minutes to Judge beat the crap out of each other. Judge A, B, and C all see this 29-28 in favor of New York City Zone, Zev. Zev walks out of here. So it looks like uh, we are right on yep. that one. Even up, even up. <coughs> they both walk out one and one.